protection in the shoulder pad was good. I felt uh, really mobile. It's, uh, I think it's gonna, something that's going to catch on pretty quick. Your gut protection in all the right areas. So, I mean, you got it right across here and uh, that other part kind of overlaps. So you even got double protection. So I think, uh, I think that'll help for sure. I felt more free out there and uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's good for mobility.
is Sonia DiBiase, Goalie Product Manager for Reebok Hockey, and I'm excited to bring to you today the highly anticipated Premier 4 Series. The first feature in offering more coverage in the Premier 4 Series is the Max Coverage 3D Knee Razor. When the goalie is down in the butterfly position, this new 3D foam offers a flat inside landing pad for more stability on the ice. The second great feature for more coverage is the quick release knee cradle. With a widened outside edge, the goal pad now drops to the inside, offering more five hole coverage. The third feature is the solid seal forward calf protector. Bringing the calf protector closer to the inside edge allows goalies to get a solid seal to the ice when sliding and push off. The new Premier 4 Series also offers the new Flex Core, a softer inside boot foam core for goalies wanting more ankle flexibility. With the improvements of max coverage, solid seal and a quick release leg channel, this is why the Premier 4 Series is the choice of over 40% of the goalies in the NHL. Also new this year, we're excited to bring the new, unique one-piece glove construction to the Premier 4 Series. The Premier 4 one-piece glove offers more coverage, forward flex, and an easier strap adjustment. The first feature is the deep pocket design, offering more visibility in the pocket when smothering the puck in front. The second feature is the one-piece injection molded thumb cuff design, offering max coverage, allowing goalies to keep the glove more square to the shooter. The third feature is the quick release cuff adjustment, allowing easier access to the wrist strap. And the fourth feature is the solid seal forward angle, providing more wrist mobility and a solid seal glove to ice. The Premier 4 Series blocker offering more coverage gives the NHL goalies the confidence they need in the net. The first feature is the inside edge offering more coverage and protection to the thumb, wrist and finger area offering max coverage in the six hole. The second feature is the solid seal wrap around finger protection that molds to the paddle of the stick. The third feature is the durable synthetic leather palm with grip for easier stick handling. And the fourth feature is the pre-curved shape, preventing puck skip over and proper blocker balance. With the features I've just explained, this is how we are bringing more coverage and confidence to the best goalies of the game and why they choose the Premier Four. First of all, I like it uh, a little bit, a little bit stiff, not too stiff. You know, they uh, they come pretty stiff, and after you know a week or two, I like it when they get a little bit softer, just so you have a bit more uh, uh, that comfort and mobility. Uh, I'm the type of guy that really likes to uh, have my straps loose, uh, my pads move around a lot, so when I go my, on my butterfly, I know that the pad will be laying flat on the ice, and there won't be any pucks going underneath my pad and, and through me. So uh, that's a really key thing, you know. Uh, the other main thing for me is the knee, uh, the knee stacks. I want to make sure that uh, you know when I go down to my butterfly that the puck will not go through my, my knees. And you know you look at a lot of pads, different companies that there's always a little hole there. But with these ones, you know that there's not the puck's not going to go through. And to have the confidence, you know that it's, it's not going to go through is huge because your stick's not going to be there all the time. And you know you want to make sure that there's no holes there. So uh, apart from that, that's about it. I mean, um, and the channel's pretty straightforward. Um, and obviously the look of them is, is pretty cool. You know, I think it's pretty standard. I don't think it's anything special. It might be a little bit longer just because I have a pretty big foot. But apart from that, I mean, uh, I've always been one to not make that many adjustments on my equipment. I, I, you know, um, once I'm comfortable with something, I, I like to stick with it. The pads are pretty stiff, so, you know, sometimes it'll kick up further rebounds, which is something that I like, because for me in my head, if it goes further, it'll give me more time to recover and to get in good position and make a save. You know, when, when the pad's a bit softer, it might be laying around in the crease, and if there's somebody there, you might bang it in. So for me, I'd rather uh, kick out a rebound as far as I can than, than just, you know, have a soft pad and, and just laying it in the crease or something like that. 
Well, I like to be loose around my knee area. I think uh, being a butterfly goalie, it's important to uh, have that, you know, uh, mobility and, you know, you don't want anything to hamper you around this area. And uh, when you go down on your butterfly, you want to make sure that your pad turns and, you know, uh, falls on the side, not on the top. So uh, that's why I don't like that much uh, stuff going on on the top, uh, mostly support down low. But even there, you know, seeing that I, I tie my pad, uh, my straps pretty loose, it's just really to so that the pad doesn't fall off my leg. Uh, you know, the, the main uh, thing that I noticed about the glove uh, when I switched from the one piece to the two piece, I used to get hurt a lot on, on the inside of my palm when there was a two piece. I don't know if it was because of the seam or what, but uh, ever since uh, we, I switched to the one piece, I haven't had that problem. So that's, that was huge uh, for me because, you know, obviously, especially in practice, you face so many shots that uh, once you get a bruise on your hand, you feel like you're going to get hit there all the time. So, um, uh, you know, apart from that, the, the thing that I, that I like about it, uh, my game goes especially, uh, as soon as I get it, I wear it for like one practice and it's ready to go for the game. So uh, it's nice to be able to do that and, and not have to wear it and break it in. And, and you know, especially that I wear white gloves if you need four or five practices by the time you wear it in a game, it'll be all marked up. So uh, that's, that's something that I find that, that's pretty neat about it. I think I want to say about uh, four or five, you know, depending on the playoffs, obviously. I mean, maybe if we go far, uh, you know, add an, an extra one or two in there. But uh, I like to switch them out uh, maybe every month, a month and a half, two months at the most, uh, depending on you know, our schedule and the timing and, and stuff like that. Well, the one thing that I, that I really liked about the blocker, and this we were the, one of the first companies to do this, is, is this side piece here that you see it's flat and square because a lot of times you're going to make a save, your hand's going to be on the, turned on the side. So you want to make sure that this is nice and square and that it's not you know bending in or stuff like that so that the puck can, can stay in front of you. I like it a lot in my first practice with them and uh, even though everything's new, I still, uh, everything felt good, felt bright and also uh, I'm excited to uh, bring them in. Uh, it's awesome. I think uh, the thing I like the most about it is it's almost ready to play in a game right away off the box. So uh, usually with gear it takes a little more time to break in, but I feel especially with the pads after a couple of practices it could be uh, ready to wear them in a game. So that's a, that's a big advantage uh, for people looking to get new gear. Well, there's a lot of things. First of all, I mean, obviously the, the design is really nice. Uh, you know, it's a nice change. You can do a lot of different colors with it, so uh, it looks good. Uh, like the softer boot, you know, I thought that would, that made a big difference for me. And uh, all together, you know, I had a great feeling with it. I thought, uh, you know, just taking it right now, I don't have to do any change. So that's always a good feeling. It feels great. Uh, there's a couple new adjustments that, uh, you know, if the pad keeps getting better and better, and. Uh, once again, I feel comfortable, confident in the gear, and, and it looks great too. The, the new graphics, uh, I think all the kids and everyone's going to like it. Uh, you know, I like it, so you always want to look good too. One thing I like about those uh, Reebok pads is probably the best pad on the market to cover the 5 volt. And uh, the other thing, when the guys are going butterfly, they are so much in balance, it's incredible. So I think it's a great pair of pads to wear. I like my equipment, my pads. I like my pads uh, to be pretty straight. You know, I like them uh, to be real stiff. Uh, I like when I kick out my rebound as far as I can. And uh, for me, when the, the pads come out of the box, I think that's when they're at their best. 
You know, that's when I like to wear them the best. I, I wear them one practice and I'm ready to play with them. The good thing with the Reebok pads is they always come the same way, so uh, uh, you never have any surprise. Well, the glove and the blocker, they both have great protection, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, when you get hit a place where uh, with some other blocker it would hurt, you know, you, you know you're not going to get that with the Reebok equipment. Uh, and the glove, the one piece, what I like about the one piece is the rebounds are true. You know, you know where the rebound's going to go, it's stiff. Uh, the rebound's going to kick where I want it to kick if there, there is one. And, uh, uh, and again, there's always a good protection for your, your wrist and, and uh, your hand. You know, uh, I like my pad to be uh, nice and loose, you know, so when I do go do down on the ice on my knees, I, you know, so they fall where I want them to fall. I do wear big knee pads, you know, and I, I don't have a white butterfly, so for me it's important to have good protection in my knees. But then I need to have room, you know, I need to have room in my, in my pads and uh, I don't want to feel like tight or anything like that. So uh, I like to wear my uh, strap loose and these pads are great because there's uh, plenty of room for my legs. For my pads, I like them, you know, kind of stiff, but nothing uh, like jiggy or Crawford, you know, they're, they're or like, like wood a little bit, you know. I like them uh, a little bit stiff, but I can also move into it, you know. I keep them pretty loose too, the strapping, like I, the bottom are usually a little more tight, you know, and as I go up, I loosen them up so they turn well when I go in, uh, in butterfly. Like I said, I think a little bit, I like the bottom to be a little more tight, you know, so I feel uh, they're not just wumbling around, you know, and um, but I still like them to be a little loose so I can, uh, when I go down, they turn well and be flat on the ice. For the two-piece, you know, I've been playing with, with that one for a long time, you know, so I'm, I always have a tough time to, to switch, you know, to new stuff, but I tried the, the one-piece one and I feel this one I have more um, flexibility, you know, with my wrist and, you know, it's easier a little bit to move around and do whatever I like, you know, so uh, that's why I stuck with this one. I think it's pretty basic, you know, I haven't made any change to it since since I first started with Reebok, you know, so it's been good, you know, I think it's good to, for the puck angling, it's good protection, you know. I think most, the one that hurt the most are the one coming up, you know, off your stick and on the finger and it's been, uh, it's been good, you know, so, uh, yeah, no changes there. First off, uh, I love the way they feel, and uh, feel means confidence for me. And uh, when I wear the Reebok pads, uh, I feel confident, and uh, the way that they uh, they sit on my leg, and the way they fall on the ice, it uh, it really covers the ice the way I want, and it keeps me balanced. I'm a, I'm a butterfly goaltender, and uh, that's the way I like it. And um, Reebok is able to make it really stiff. You know, when, when I'm going into the butterfly and stuff, uh, I know that I'm going to have that balance and that, uh, that stiffness that I need to go on the ice and be in the position that I need. Uh, another thing I like to do is have a straight pad too. Uh, you know, it gives me a little bit of versatility when I'm going down. I could uh, have my legs tight in or when I'm straight out, I can, I can open my butterfly too. Uh, with these pads and uh, you know it's another confidence thing that uh, I have when when they're shooting I know that everything's covered and I can move in different ways and and uh, I think Reebok uh, they do very well to make the same pad over and over so I know I'm going to get that consistency. Again uh, I like my equipment when it's nice and stiff and it feels comfortable and uh, it also feels like uh, you know I'm not going to get hurt when I'm getting pucks and the new glove, it's, uh, it's really easy to, to catch pucks and it also, when I'm going into a butterfly, everything closes really nicely when I'm, when I'm going into it and that's the feeling you, you want to have as, as a goaltender when you're, when you're in the net and you're going down in your regular position. You want to feel like everything's being covered and all the holes are, are being covered and I find uh, with the glove, it's, uh, it fits really nicely when I go down into the butterfly. 
Yeah, being a butterfly goaltender, um, like you said, going into the butterfly into a block is what we call it. Uh, you know, the inside part of the blocker, it, uh, it helps you to close up and make sure that you don't have those holes when you're, when you're making, uh, making a butterfly slide or getting into this position. You can close up and uh, like I said, it's, uh, everything's about confidence and, and knowing everything's there and everything's right. So uh, uh, for me, I feel like uh, when I'm playing, I have everything covered and uh, you know, this blocker just covers up all the holes.
Opening period, that's for sure. Here comes David Booth. He has the Panther goal tonight. Oh, did he get hit hard? Oh my goodness, Booth is down. I got hit hard up high, and David Booth is on the ice and hasn't moved. Oh my goodness. Dave Zanobi, Panther trainer, quickly calling over to the bench. I think it was, if I'm correct, I think it was Richards, the captain of the Flyers. Mike Richards, we talked about him. He's a guy that never stops. He plays whistle to whistle. We've been seeing this a lot in the NHL, these really hard hits, the high hits. It's been a topic of conversation. Uh, well, we're going to have to take a look at it. I'm going to have to take a look. When I saw it up in action, David Booth dropped the puck, and he was looking back where he passed coming through the middle of the ice he drops it one that's just that's brutal. right to the head it's right in the head the shoulder to the head and then booth banged on the ice he'll melt it down jordan stall injured in this game and we'll see how yeah and, and this is a big moment dk suban back of his right skate hits the top of Jordan Stahl's right skate. He goes down very, very awkwardly. He gets off the ice under his own power, but certainly favoring a lower body portion there. Subban puts a move on Ribeiro before turning it over. And it's set ahead. Brendan Morrow chips it in behind the Islander net. Tavares. And Tavares knocked down behind the play. Yeah, he looked like he took a high stick coming across uh, his own blue line. Well, again, this was, frankly, too frequent an occurrence last year. John Tavera certainly got a lot stronger this summer. But teams are going to pay a lot of attention to him, and it's going to be up to the Islanders to answer. Now, you see here Tavares in the middle of the ice. Oh, just kind of gets knocked off. Uh, just off balance. Didn't really see him coming. And uh, Barish just sort of bumped into him. No penalty on the play. Tavares simply going off for some repairs. 